Being the first day of the 2024 also means the first college football game of the new year for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Sports director Matt Randazzo kicks off our team coverage of the Citrus Bowl. Yeah, in a day and age, John, where the buzz around bowl games have changed, the Iowa football team seems to be one of the exceptions. The Hawkeyes were all in heading to Orlando back in the Citrus Bowl for the second time in three years. Iowa looking for their 11th victory of the season. Battling Tennessee in a game you saw right here on WQAD 2024. No different for Tory Taylor. First quarter, their Hawkeye punter with another booming punt. This one breaking a record as well, giving Taylor the most punting yards ever in a season. Previous record set way back in 1938. Iowa's offense with a chance to make a statement early, driving inside the Volunteer 5, third and goal. Deacon Hill is picked off. We stay scoreless early on. Second half, Tennessee now up 14-0, and Hill's struggles continues. He's sacked on third down. Ball comes out. Bulls recover at the two. That turns into a Tennessee touchdown. It was 21-0, and it goes from bad to worse. Next drive, Hill is picked off by James Pierce Jr., and he races back the other way. 52 yards for the pick six, 35-0. Tennessee, that was it for Hill. Freshman, Marco Lanez comes in to replace them, but the Hawkeyes shut out for the second straight game. They gave up the most points this season, 35-0. The Vols cruise to victory. It was no doubt a tough day for Kirk Ferentz and company. For more on the Cheez-It Citrus Bowl, let's go live to Orlando where we find Tennessee grad and WQAD's own Camille Gear. Hey, Camille. Yeah, hey Matt, despite a 10 win season and a Big Ten West title, there were glaring flaws on this Iowa Hawkeye team and none more magnified today than here in the Citrus Bowl. It just went from bad to worse for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Kirk Ferentz's squad shut out for the second straight game. In fact, the Iowa Hawkeyes have not scored since a late game winning field goal against Nebraska on Black Friday. That's eight straight quarters of scoreless football. For quarterback Deacon Hill, he took a step back today instead of taking a step forward. Three costly turnovers and it was just too much for the Iowa Hawkeyes to overcome. Freshman quarterback Marco Linez did give the Hawks a late spark with his legs, but it was just too little, too late, and the Hawks blowout loss to the Tennessee Volunteers here in Orlando, Florida. And here was what the head Hawk himself had to say after the game. Clearly, you know, the self-inflicted things, the, um, you know, things that you can't do if you're going to win football games. Whether it's, you know, not making the makeables offensively, penalties, a couple of penalties at inopportune times, and uh, certainly turnovers. And it's as important a stat as there is, and certainly impacted the game today. Just encourage everybody to step back. It's 10 win season, Big Ten West champs. A lot of really good moments, and they've, these guys have really overcome a lot of adversity. Definitely a disappointing end to a 10 win season here for the Iowa Hawkeyes. But on the bright side for Hawkeye fans, the Iowa Hawkeyes will return a ton of talent next year. We'll have more on that later on WQAD. But for now, live in Orlando, Camille Gear, WQAD News 8 Sports. Thanks, Camille. Tough day for the Hawkeyes. We will have full coverage, some more highlights to get to, and hear from the players coming up a little bit later on on News 8 at 6 o'clock. And, of course, we can look forward to this year, later this Absolutely. year, next season. Absolutely. There's always next season. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Matt.